rain, snow, sleet, hail, lightning, and small rock avalanches. Had them all on this trip. Hit the start of the hike here. Uh, that's where I'll be headed. Straight up there in that notch. I'll be heading up in that notch and then up over to the other side. Getting closer to the notch there. This is the uh, first major lake of the hike on the way up. Over my shoulder here, that's the uh, that's where the notch is. So I'll go up, kind of see the trees, the top of the trees right here. I'll go up and over those and hit the notch. It's probably the hardest part of the hike just uh, in elevation other than that it really hasn't been too bad been quite pretty here's here's another little lake behind me just at the base of the notch now uh, I'm also up here kind of scouting a spot to come next weekend with my one of my kids and bring them up here and I set up shop I think it'd be a lot of fun that's actually what I'm getting very excited about is to take uh, them up I my youngest is probably too young to come up my oldest He's about ready, so we'll bring him up and have lots of fun next weekend, too. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the steep part. <clears throat> uh, really rocky, too, as you can see. However, this certainly is not the worst that I've done. So considering, not too bad. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's just begging to be climbed too. Right now, you can see I'm 10,614 feet, 13 feet, 14 feet. Um, that's our elevation. This is uh, the view. Turn off that GPS here. So this is the view, the top of the notch. Just gorgeous area. I can't remember last time I was here, it's probably oh, well over 10 years ago. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to come back and get this spot. I haven't been here for so long. August 14th. So, uh, what does that snow tell you? It's cold up here year round. In fact, it's not uncommon uh, to get snowstorms up here in July. So, I'm actually expecting weather coming in. Hopefully it's not too bad, but we'll see. There's McKelty. That's where I just came from. Oh, let's see if I can. So Somewhere around this area, coming down. There's that little patch of snow, and just on the way down. I don't know what it is about this, these types of places, but man, it's just gorgeous. That's cool. Well, I made it. Here's uh, a 
lake I'll be staying out overnight I think I am gonna get some weather so and uh, work on setting up the tent here and getting that all ready and just in case it might skirt me that behind me but the stuff up here where I'm looking it might come in might come in we'll see Here's home for the night. Uh, it did start to rain on me as soon as I got the tent up. Or as I was putting the tent up, it was raining. As soon as I got it done, it stopped raining. So, let's see how the weather holds out. Um, tell you, see if you can see it from here. Oh, let's see, let's see. There's my kitchen sink. It's kind of camped out at the base of this mountain here. I'm guessing, in fact, I'm quite positive that's over 11,000 at the top there. Beautiful area. And then the lake is right down there. You can just see it through the trees. And uh, I'm cooking. I'm cooking right now. I'm trying one of those, oh, I forget what they're called. You boil the water and you just dump them in and, and cook them. So we'll see how they turn out. And I can tell you, I think that mosquitoes have been put on the earth by the devil. These damn things are up here and I forgot the deet and I'm just getting eaten alive so uh, it's not so bad right now when the, the wind's blowing a little bit but um, when the wind stops man they just come out in droves but my fault I guess. This is dinner. What's up? Nice view for dinner. I'm hungry too. And this is uh, beef stroganoff with noodles. It's pretty good. I think anything would be good at this point, but this is pretty good.